Hello guys, Dave Shopius here in the Robot Lab. This is the third and final installment of my motor, my arm motor um, replacement. He's all done. Well, he's not done. The robot's never done. They are, just remember that. Uh, but my repair is done and I've got all my adjustments made. And he's working pretty good. Um, just a real quick recap. Uh, as you, uh, if you didn't see my other two videos, uh, this arm motor here, I burnt it out. The brushes burnt out. Um, I broke a wire in the potentiometer going back here and it just took off, slammed up, and before I could shut them off, the brushes burnt out. So I found a different uh, motor, same brand. You can look all this in my other two videos if you want, and I replaced it. It uh, was a long process, a little bit uh, tumultuous. <laughs> and uh, but nothing I haven't done before. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I hope that I'd never have to do that. But uh, because of uh, some of my wiring deficiencies, uh, didn't have these wires properly uh, supported back here, and a little bit of flex, one of the solder points broke. Okay, thank you, big guy. Um, All right, well, he's in personality mode right now. He just told me what the uh, the time of the day was. So that's cool. That's one of his features. Um, I guess we got lucky. So what I want to do here today is just to finish up on this third video here is, is just uh, put this camera on a tripod and give you a little demonstration what he looks now, uh, his arms, how they look and work uh, with uh, this new motor in. Um, if you've seen some of my other motor, my other videos, it's not a whole lot of difference. Um, but um, this time, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be more interesting, interesting because I have the torso off. I did put the collar on and the bubble is uh, and radar are functional now so it's uh, it's gonna be kind of fun to watch so I'll pause here I'll set up on a tripod and uh, and uh, give you a little demo of some of his um, some of his uh, animations okay I'll be right back okay I'm back <coughs> oh, pardon me got a cold so uh, we'll struggle through this together all right um, I have all these animations set up uh, through different voice recognition commands, but I'm not going to do them through that medium yet. Uh, I'll leave that for another another uh, video. I'm going to trigger these animations simply by um, that is not an an well, that's a personality animation that I have built into him. Um, what he's doing right there. So every once in a while he'll do different things on his own, kind of like the old Disney robots used to do. So. Uh, he'll stand there and say a few things a few times, move about a little bit, run his bubble and radar. Um, I apologize for not having one of his uh, ears, sensor ears on. That broke off. I gotta fix that. So um, right now I'm gonna trigger these animations manually through my Synthium hardware, or some sorry, Synthium software. Um, and I've shown that before in other videos too. So I'm not gonna go into that. So let's get started. Okay. Um, I'm sitting down at the computer. Uh, I'm just quick. Uh, I, uh, this computer is is located on the back of the robot, tied into the robot, so he's computer controlled. I'm just um, rem remoting in from a laptop over uh, over Wi-Fi, so uh, everything is remotely controlled off my laptop. So. Uh, I am going to first um, give you a little quick rundown. Uh, first thing I gotta do is shut this personality off, so I don't want that happening while I'm working here. So give me a second, uh, he's gonna slow down in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna shut the personality off. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of uh, what his arms can do, then I'll do a couple of animations, okay? So first thing we need to do is get the arms out. Execute, arms out. Okay, arms are out. Now it's safe to go. Uh, here's a couple of the poses I built in. The attack. There's an attack. Um, we're going to go with a classic pose that you've seen him make. Okay. Um, then I could, when I want to, I can always reset the arms, but it's not necessary to do it every time. Um, 
then uh, if you like, if you want uh, like a, a power pack pole pose where he slumps over, just kind of root, okay, and then his uh, his hips would be um, his hips would be down too. Let me just show you a quick hip. Um, okay, he'd, he'd be kind of leaned over like that. We can um, we can do the up up the hips. And um, let's do a, uh, like if he's proclaiming something, okay? Here he is. Proclaim. <laughs> or the other arm, we'll do the other proclaim. Okay. Uh, like a Pledge of Allegiance kind of thing. I Pledge of Allegiance to America, okay? Um, and then straight that down. That's kind of slow. I gotta speed that up over there a little bit. That's a little bit slow. I don't like that. The, that right arm is a little too slow for me. Uh, let's. Um, that's about it for now. Let's uh, let's pull these arms in. They uh, they center up automatically. If not, they'll do go through a recentering routine so they don't try to pull in when they're not centered. Because you don't want those arms pulling in the torso if they're not centered. So let's hope. I haven't had a problem with them not centering up in a long time, especially since I replaced that motor, but um, you never can tell. Here we go. And they're centered. They'll pull in with centered, they confirm and in. Boom. And then everything relaxes. Okay, what I want to do now is just give you um, a quick, uh, like an attack. So let's say something's attacking the Jupiter 2, two and we want, to, want him to take a, take a look around and protect us, okay? So here it goes. Classic animation today. Well, it's not classic. I made it up myself. It'll be classic someday, though. Uh, just want to note that that speaker on the front, that's just a temporary speaker. The uh, main speaker is in the robot himself. Uh, I'm going to pop up the volume just a touch. And uh, that's too loud. I'll turn it back down. So um, that's, uh, like I said, the uh, main speaker is in the, in the torso. So uh, it's a lot better and it sounds a lot better. Let's do another animation. Okay, how about, um, let's say, okay, robot. And remember, I got this all hooked up on uh, voice recognition so I can ask him questions and tell him to do a thing. I'm not doing that right now. I'm just, I'm doing this manually, but I'm kind of pretending. Robot, sing me a song. Set it up. Must be good since you pull it in. Okay, robot, can you do impersonations? I do impressions. It is showtime. Affirmative. June Lockhart. Dr. Smith, we are not fiends, and there is nothing very shining about three o'clock in the morning. We just all happen to have a very sensible instinct for self preservation. Okay, robot. Again, I'm, I'm triggering this manually, so I'm just pretending. That, but he can do it uh, through voice recognition too. So, robot, give me some more impressions. Let's party. Yeah, let's party. Kenny Robinson. Doctor Smith, what does a Ouija board do? Thank you. We'll do two I'll more. Be the robot. I'll be the robot. Thank you. To boldly go where no robot has gone before. 
Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. I, he, he's got, I got hundreds of, uh, I don't know why he didn't set her up. Um, he's supposed to set her up. I must have missed something in the code. But he's got hundreds of uh, impressions he can do from different robots, uh, different, all the, uh, all the cast members in Lost of Space. He does, he even done Bender from, um, the, what the heck, I forget what the name of it was, but you don't remember Bender. Um, he, uh, he gets kind of foul mouthed sometimes, so we don't like to play him too often. Uh, let me, um, center up the waist. There we go. I don't know why that didn't set up. It's something I need to look at. But ain't no big deal. Um, let's do a couple more here. Oh, he's doing his personality thing now. Okay, um, as soon as this is done, he's going to do the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States. And if you don't like the United States, to heck with you. Don't listen. We don't care. The United States of America. Yes, pledge it, big guy. Yes, how sweet it is. Damn right. Okay, um, remember the old uh, part of the show, the, one of the first one or two shows of Lost of Space where the robot went berserk and started to uh, kill everybody? As soon as he gets done with his animation routine here, this uh, personality thing, I'm going to show you uh, a little cut from that. And that'll be it. This is the Fiesta Resistance. Okay, let's do it. Robot. It is lunch. Minus eight hours. Or plus eight hours. Go to it. Okay, we betcha. Oh, wait a minute. Did I hear a finale, an encore? Somebody want one more song? Let's do it. Robot, is there any danger in the area? That's uh, pretty much it. I have a few little minor doodads to fix here and there, and uh, once I get his uh, torso back on, I'll be back for a final show. That might be a while, so enjoy this while you can. Same time, same bad channel, same channel, same time. Bye-bye. But wait, the robot didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> here, uh, before we finally go here, Here's the set shutdown routine. I gotta make sure that the computer on the robot shuts down properly because you know how Windows is. If you just shut it off, you can have corrupt files and stuff. So it's gotta go through a shutdown routine. And uh, thank goodness the uh, good people at Windows, Microsoft, uh, gives a little 
program in there to, to initiate that. So I just have Synthium trigger that program and with a little bit of uh, animation to boot. It's kind of an amusing little thing. So you'll see uh, I'll push the start button on the shutdown script here and you'll see them go through a little animation and tell you a little something. Every, it's a little random every time it's different so I don't know what he's going to say. Um, and then uh, the computer will shut down and the lights will shut off. The whole computer will go dark and dead, okay? I'm sorry, the, the whole robot will go dark and dead because of a uh, shutdown um, piece of d device I have in there. So I, I showed that in a different video, so look it up, okay? Here we go. Bye-bye, robot. My power pack needs charging. Okay. So that's about it. The robot now, the computer now is shutting down. When, that, when the computer shuts itself off, the robot's off. All right, guys, that's it now, for, for real. You guys have yourself a good day, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for good this time.